I'm doing some modifications to a trailer. Um, this is a trailer, uh, shoot, no telling how old it is. Uh, I used to uh, use it with a bunch of bunch of my buddies uh, as we traveled around, carried our equipment around in a gospel, um, Southern Gospel Quartet. That was 35 years ago or so. And uh, this was our trailer. It was uh, had wood sides, marine plywood all over it, uh, marine running boards, I mean, uh, plywood running boards. And um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it had, a, had fenders too. Don't know what happened to the fenders. I wish I did because I need them right now. Anyway, uh, I years ago put uh, cattle panels around it, on top of it, and um, for, um, well, for uh, livestock. So um, this will carry sheep, goats, pigs, uh, very small calves. I've got some uh, uh, light fixtures, uh, like that one up there. And um, I'm going to, I'm making running boards out of those. Uh, just cutting them up with a, uh, uh, with a grinder and uh, whatever, whatever I got. Cut them up, make running boards. Anyway, I put a, a, a long time ago, I put a, a metal floor in it. I had some access to a metal um, floor, uh, some, some sheet metal. And I just put a metal floor in it, had wood, uh, obviously had uh, plywood in it, like the rest of it. Anyway, just uh, kind of show you the progress here. Uh, I put a new hitch on it, and I've got it all lights and uh, wired up and everything. It was ready to go. In fact, uh, just last uh, year, or year before last, I had uh, a guy at the trailer place. It was just, uh, it, was, it was getting too hard to... Uh, find parts for it I, I the uh, I was trying to get some bearings for it and the, anyway he for whatever reason I went ahead and had him put new axle under it uh, so it's got new tires new axle I forget what that cost me but it was worth it um, new leaf springs the whole bit he had to kind of manufacture that because nothing was uh, this is a homemade trailer and nothing <laughs> nothing was built like uh, like he would have built it so he uh, he fixed it up and uh, put lights on it for me and everything. So we're ready to go. I'm just trying, trying to put some running boards on it. I'm not sure if in Texas it's illegal to have, not to have fenders. So that's why I'm doing it. Uh, my lambs are gonna get ready to go to market pretty soon. And I just wanna make sure, uh, make sure I can take them somewhere and, and not get sprayed with water and rocks and everything else when I towed them off. Well, here we are. Um, I have um, welded the uh, running boards on. The running boards I had to cut across there, so that's a pretty jagged edge on that side. So I put the there's a rolled edge on this side. Not, you know, it's not sharp, but it's not not dull either, I guess. But um, uh, anyway, I put the uh, the jagged edge on the inside. Um, welded those on there and I decided for the ramp um, I think you saw that it had wood on it I decided to put expanded metal on it and just welded uh, in random places just welded the uh, expanded metal on there I can walk on it so I know it'll hold my sheep now, will it hold a 500 pound hog? I don't know. I don't trust my weld. It's just not easy to weld expanded metal. I mean, you gotta get most of your heat over here. Try to get enough of it over here that you don't burn the burn one of these because these are thin. That's easy to burn. So you gotta kind of kind of be careful. Huh? I guess it's uh, it's tacked pretty good. Seems seems to be. It's not pretty. I did it with my wire welder. And then I came back after welding this, after welding the uh, expanded metal on the back for my ramp. I, uh, I came back through with Osfo and sprayed it. I had a, uh, just a little sprayer from, I don't know, uh, not fabric softener, but a stain remover thing. I don't, I don't throw away too many little sprayers because they come in handy out on the farm. So I just sprayed it down real good with Osfo and Osfo turns stuff white, but it kills the rust. So I sprayed 
pretty much all the rusty places. And, uh, makes a good, makes a good little sheep, goat, hog, um, maybe a calf, baby calves. It's about four feet tall, so you couldn't get anything in there too tall. Uh, donkey wouldn't go in here. I had to use my red trailer for that. That is for sale right now. I don't really need it, so I'm gonna sell the red trailer. Anyway, um, next time you see it, this will be part one. I'll do a quick part two. That will be uh, uh, next time you see it, and uh, we'll have a coat of paint. Anyway, there's the ramp um, and the sheep, livestock, whatever. We'll just walk up the ramp. And uh, of course, if you load them, you'll have to have. I'll have to have some. Um, cattle panels or something on each side of it <laughs> I'm not gonna just train them to walk up in it but I'll have to have something on the side guiding them up the ramp where they won't just run off and that'll work uh, pretty nifty little trailer it'll be around for a long long time I bet it's 50 years old now and maybe even older uh, had to do some refurbishing on it but it's uh it's held up pretty good been a mini mile with me not a whole lot of miles Oh, with livestock in it, but a whole lot of miles with singing equipment in it, PA systems and such. This is it. I'll do uh, part two. will be shorter than this. Sorry about that. Part two will be just uh, pretty much painting it and uh, let you see the finished product. Ought to be pretty nice. Where we go?